The city of Naperville's budget continues to look better. City Council and staff recently met to discuss their general budget, which currently sits $200,000 in the negative, but is down from a $2.2 million deficit in October. And by the end of the meeting, that gap was even less. Each department head presented their annual budget to the council, including new vehicles and personnel. The Naperville Police Department presented a new opportunity to hire a sworn officer to train at the FBI's Regional Computer Forensics Lab in Chicago. The exchange is a three-year commitment, after which the officer will return to Naperville with extra training. Some of the cases they'll be working on include child pornography, internet crimes, terrorism, and fraud. The complexity of the cases, the types of cases that we're working is across the spectrum of the crime classification. So what we're doing is we're building the capacity in the Chicagoland area to address these type of cases. Naperville will be one of nine departments in the region and one of 300 from the country in the program. One budget item the council decided not to approve is a $15,000 grant for a new tree preservation program, providing money to residents to preserve trees on private property. It's a noble cause. Trust me, I wish people would preserve more trees, but I think it's a very slippery slope when we're using tax dollars to incentivize behavior on private property. By denying that request, the city now has a $185,000 deficit, but projects they'll end the fiscal year with excess money and discussed ways to use it, such as paying down their pension debt, helping pay for the new recycling program, an abatement in property taxes, and avoid borrowing for capital projects. This is the second of four budget meetings planned. The next will be capital improvements in January.